What's up guys, welcome back to The Educated Bar Like Today we're gonna to be making a drink called a Bowery Fix. This is a cocktail that comes from a bar called Saxon and Parole, but more on that later. Let's get into making the drink. So first thing we are gonna do is, I just like sploshed simple syrup all over myself. That's cool. Uh, half an ounce of simple syrup, if it will come out of here. Well, I don't know why, what is going on? Is this thing clogged with something? No, that's weird. So weird. Is this not simple syrup? No, nope, simple syrup. Mm. Just uh, rinse it a little bit. It's again. defective. I don't know what's going on with that. All right, so half an ounce of simple syrup. Half an ounce of lemon juice. One ounce of yellow pepper juice. Now, a lot of you are going to ask me how to juice a yellow pepper. And what I do is I have a juicer. I like one of those juicers with the paddle that you, you know, you not like a, not a citrus reamer, but like a juicer. And I put it in there, but I will say that you can actually put this into uh, a blender with just like a little scotia of water and blend it all up and then just uh, double like strain out with a fine strainer, a chinoisee or a uh, nut milk bag. And you can just get rid of the solids and have your yellow pepper juice. So we're just going to do one ounce of yellow pepper juice. Then we're going to do a quarter of an ounce. of yellow chartreuse. Well, oh, hey, hey now. I'll go get that, Ugh. I'll go get that. And then, half an ounce of mezcal. We're using the uh, Lopez Real, which I really like a lot. It's kind of a newer company. Uh, and then we're using an ounce and a half of this nice Blanco tequila. It's the organic stuff. This is the good stuff, you know? And I'll say, like, if you want to use good tequila, you're going to have to spend a little bit of money. You can use, like, uh, you can sub it out for any Blanco tequila you like. Altos or whatever you want to use. Um, but this one's really nice. I like it. And then we're just going to add our ice to our tin. Add in our cocktail. Give it a nice hard shake. Oh, snap! I forgot something. I forgot my uh, my uh, or my fire water bitters. I'm just gonna do two dashes. Sorry. All right, we're gonna strain our cocktail, and then, ooh, it's a big cocktail. This is a bigger coupe than I usually use, and that's right up to the rim. People in service would hate me. Uh, we're gonna do a little chili pepper oil to garnish. We're just gonna maybe do five little drops up on there. Let's take a sip. Ooh, that's fantastic. Lightly spicy, you get the chartreuse right off the bat with the yellow pepper juice. What's really nice about the yellow pepper juice is that it's slightly sweet and has that you know pepper taste, which is sort of a I guess you could call it like an earthy flavor, right? Pepper it would be like kind of an earthy flavor, but it's... And uh, for some people, you might call this a yellow paprika. At least that's what... A yellow paprika? What do you mean? This is a yellow bell pepper, right? It's a yellow bell pepper, yeah. yeah. Just so people know that it's a paprika, a bell pepper, not like a little chai, Thai... Oh, bell pepper. pepper peppers are called paprika? Yeah. Peppercris, that's like the variety of pepper they are. I did not know that. Look at that. Mary has taught me something today. I love that. That's amazing. I did not know that. That's really, really good to know. Um, so lightly spicy. You get the yellow chartreuse right up front. You get a little bit of that mezcal smoke. And if you wanted to use like a variety, well, if you want to use a mezcal that, that used a variety of agave, it's going to be a little bit more smoky. Um, then you're going to get a little bit more of that. Uh, the one I use is just like lightly snow, smoky, but really citrusy. It's going to go well with that like lemon sour that's in here. And then of course you've got your, um, you've got your, uh, your, your tequila. Ooh, and it's nice because you know, the garnish is oil. So it's obviously floating on top and then you can like suck up one of those chili pepper tincture like drops on there and you get a little extra spice, which is really nice. This is a fantastic cocktail. I really love it. So I don't really have a bartender on this cocktail. Um, and 
I know that it comes from a bar called Saxon and Parole. It's been on the menu there since about 2012. And uh, Saxon and Parole is like a new American cuisine restaurant in New York. Uh, and I learned a little bit about their name, which is really cool. They're actually named after two racehorses. So Saxon was a racehorse that won the Belmont Stakes in 1874. And then Parole was uh, uh, actually a field horse also in the 1800s that uh, somebody decided they wanted to race for whatever reason. It was like a workhorse that wasn't really a racehorse. And he went on to be like the most winningest of horses of his generation. And what was kind of cool about that horse is that he had, they actually ran him in England as well. And the English had a loving name for him. They would call him the Yankee Nag, which I thought was pretty cool. Is this a before or after Seabiscuit? I don't know when does sea biscuit take place. I, I I'm I'm I am I am not really versed in my sea biscuit history. Yeah, I kind of feel like the sea biscuit was in like the 1920s or maybe. something. So yeah. this is a a good. Uh, I mean, if what did I say? 1864 for Saxon. So yeah. that's a good 60 years before sea biscuit. I'm going to say 1920s for sea biscuit, but I don't know that for sure. Undoubtedly, someone's in the comments right now being like, oh, no, actually, Seabiscuit and giving us the whole history, which is actually really helpful. I actually really like it when you guys do that, when you guys like hear something and it's incomplete and then you like complete it in the comments because it's just like all that much more history, which is really fun. And that's what I like. I don't know. That's all I got for you on this, guys. That's it, right? That's it. That's it. If you like our channel, please hit like and subscribe. Check out our YouTube memberships. They're pretty awesome. We've got some content rolling out for that soon. Um, I say that every video, and I mean it in every video. We do have some stuff rolling out, it's pretty good. Uh, I don't know, uh, We check out our Teespring, check out our Discord, and uh, I guess I'll see you guys another time. Chica -chica.